The results of February 25, 2023 presidential and national assembly elections has continued to reverberate with shocking waves across the country. The political tsunami occasioned by the phenomenon of Labour Party presidential candidate Peter Obi has suddenly left some state governors seeking re-election in a weak positions after their political parties lost ground. All those pushing for the anointed candidate to succeed them are now G3. In Lagos, where APC lost to the Labour Party in the presidential election, Governor Babajini Sonwolu is reaching out to different interest groups to secure his re-election. Governor Sheyi Makindi of Oyo State is also reaching out after his party, the People's Democratic Party, lost to the APC. In Enugu State, Governor Ifai Ngwai of the PDP, who lost his bid to go to the Senate to Labour Party, is having a hard time persuading voters to back his party's candidate, Peter Amba, to succeed. Abia State Governor Okezi Ikazu is also not sure his candidate will win the March 11 governorship election. Governors of other states, including Benway, Cross River, Delta, Kano, Kaduna, Plateau, Katsina, and Gombe are having similar challenges. Already, some of the governors have suddenly become humble. In Gombe, Governor Muhammad Yahya has had to apologize to the Christian faithful in the state. Yahya, who is seeking re election, tendered the apology during the meeting where leaders of the Christian Association of Nigeria can. Gumbe State Chapter, held at the government house on Saturday. Labour Party may not have won the presidential election. It has indeed ruffled some feathers. Can the party sustain the momentum? Results of next Saturday, governorship and state houses of assembly election will answer that question.